biggest football in Louisiana. It's U.S. man, LSU, NFL, football, no chance. Soccer is the biggest sport no, in the world. No, are you kidding? Whoa, no, facts Wait, are facts. Hold on, Morgan, I'm a football it's, fan, it's but facts are facts. Hold on. You know, you heard everything, every comic, kickball, sissy ball. So, time for Baton Rouge. A boiling city in the deep south of America, known for gumbo and alligators. There's really only one sport you need to know about here, college football. In a city of about 230,000, over 100,000 regularly turn out for the Louisiana State University games. Okay, so it's LSU game day here today in Baton Rouge. And the LSU Tigers are the biggest college team here. These guys are true football fans. So I'm going to head to one of the biggest games of the season and ask them what they think about soccer. The only thing I know about soccer is Pele. Would you be willing to learn more about soccer? Maybe you love it if you start Not watching really. it. Not really, no. And soccer is just kind of just this. It's like, I wish they would score more. We love scoring. It's not a round. It's not in my face all the time like college football is. Football is so big out here, it'll never get the chance to explode like it should. There's not enough competition, do you want football? LSU! Football is the best. Soccer's a good sport yeah. also. No, it, it, it's, it's like a beginner sport. It, go Tigers! Go Tigers! So we're actually about to head onto the field where LSU are playing Ole Miss. So this is the definition of football in Louisiana um, and it's big, very big. Nice to meet you man. How you doing? I'm going to film this, sorry, how are you? <laughs> okay. What's, what's your name? Manuel. Right, what, are, what are we here for Manuel? Indoor soccer. This is pretty much the soccer scene in Baton Rouge, an indoor sports centre owned by this guy. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Premier Soccer Center. I had a good time here. I made some friends. Argentinian English. Played some league matches. Scored some goals. And got taken out a few times. These people love their soccer, but they really are in the minority in Louisiana. So, what do they think? I don't know, I mean, once you start watching, I think you fall in love with it, but a lot of these people never have the idea to even watch it. The knowledge is the, what everyone lacks here. Like, the funding for soccer is not there in the state, so it's it's hard. <laughs> like, my uncle, he never played soccer, so he calls it sissy football. And all the guys that I meet that are Hispanic, not even just Mexican, they play soccer. My American friends, on the other hand, they act like they enjoy it, but they're just there for the beer and food, you know. <laughs> it's embracing it slowly. It's a, it's a slow, slow process. Why do you like soccer? Because I get to trip people. Oh, that's a good reason. <laughs> There's more kids playing now in the state of Louisiana than when I graduated in 1989 than there has ever been. It's such a youth sport, which is fantastic, but it teeters out when you get into basically right before high school. And that's when they kind of decide what the sport they're going to kind of go with. Do you have a favorite player? No, I don't know their names. What about? Yeah, there you go. What? Messi. Messi. I think the future of soccer is going to grow even more. And I think one of the biggest reasons why I think it's going to grow even more is because of the issues that are happening right now with football and concussions. I see more and more parents bring their kids out to soccer because of the violence of the game of football. And let's shoot! And let's shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 